All right, top in today's HealthCast, University of Florida researchers have received a $19 million grant to tackle the growing problem of stimulant use disorder. Dr. Chris McCurdy and his team at UF's College of Pharmacy have developed a molecule that targets key components in our brains that regulate how drugs like cocaine or meth affect our bodies. Right now, there's no FDA-approved treatment for stimulant use disorders or methamphetamine or cocaine addiction. Um, and what our molecule has shown is really great promise in blocking uh, rodents from being able to self-administer uh, cocaine or methamphetamine. McCurdy goes on to say the next step in research is to demonstrate the effectiveness of this drug therapy in humans in human trials. And a new Harvard study links eating red meat with the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. That study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition involves more than 200,000 people over a 13-year period. Participants who ate the most red meat were found to have a 62% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes than those who ate the least amount of red meat. People who swapped red meat for nuts or veggies had a 30% reduced risk. And you know what? Move over, mosquitoes. There's another blood-sucking biter Americans need to be up against. It's called the sand fly. The tan-colored flies are only about the quarter size of a mosquito, so small they slip right through ordinary netting and window screens. The insects carry a disease, though, that can infect your internal organs and even be fatal if left untreated. 